Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my ASMR channel. So before we get into today's video, I just want to remind everyone about a couple of things. First, I have a Patreon where for $3 a month, you can get four extra ASMR videos each and every month. I also have an OF where right now, if you join, you can get 40% off of your first month along with a free gift. So if that's something you might be interested in, you can use the link, tree link, down below in my description box. Um, also, using that same link, tree link, you'll find a link to my Wizio, where I make all of my custom ASMR videos, and a link to my Instagram if you'd like to follow me over there. Last but not least, remember to subscribe to my channel if you would like, and like this video as well. But now let's get into today's roleplay. <laughs> I cannot believe you fell. I think for tonight, maybe we're done with the drinks, right? Yeah, I think that's for the best. Mm, no, you've been you've been having a very good time. <laughs> Promise me, I'll help clean you up. Um. I looked through the medicine cabinet. I know it's kind of gross we're sitting on the bathroom floor right now, but I, we have to get you cleaned up. Yeah, your forehead is just a little bit of a mess. Um, hopefully you won't scar, but yeah, you have quite a gash. Hold on, let me get So, hydrogen peroxide, 3%, first aid antiseptic for minor cuts, here's this teetering on major, and abrasions to help prevent infection, topical antiseptic, non-aerosol spray, okay. You were having fun though, right? I know, I know. I don't want to be the one keeping you from having a good time, but... I am your friend, and I feel like you are getting a little out of control. I mean that in the most loving way. You know I'm all for having a good time, but I just, you know, don't want you doing anything you might regret, <laughs> or saying anything you might regret. Sting, I hope you know that. Okay? I'm gonna need you to be brave for me. I know. Do you want to squeeze my hand? Yeah, squeeze my hand if you need to. squeezing. We're almost done. Is it a little more bearable now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're good. And then... Okay, don't hate me, but they don't have band aids here. I mean, we are at a house party, so we have to just kind of work with what we have available. No, you, you definitely need something on it. 
they have rolled gauze. Let's see. And then they have um well tape to wrap. So might have to make it just wrap around your head. You have an amazing friend here right now helping you out. Okay. This is, I almost honestly feel like we should go to the emergency room. I mean, I, I'm no medical professional, but this gash in your forehead's pretty deep. Like, I almost feel like you might need stitches. You know what? I'm making the decision for us. I'm wrapping this around your head and then I'm taking you to the hospital. Do you want me to wrap it around my head too so you don't feel silly? I just want to make sure that you are completely covered. And that it doesn't bleed through on our way to the hospital. Leave this dangling awkwardly. Let me check if they have scissors, okay? You might. Oh, I found scissors. Oh, I also found a perfume. Hmm, smells good. Anything else interesting? You're right, I have to stay on task. I smell this perfume. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. Golden nectar, I might have to take a picture of that. But, okay, I found these little scissors. And then I'm just going to. Mm, no, down. I didn't use it all. I'll put this leftover back in their medicine cabinet. Hmm. Okay, then we have this like these bandage tape. Very um sticky. Yeah, will this just stay on its own? amount and see if we need more. I don't know if I'm doing this right.
Good. You look a little funny, <laughs> but um, there's a little bit of ace bandage hanging out that you probably don't need. I'll just cut that part off. <laughs> now, am I the sweetest friend or what? I could be out socializing, talking to everyone, but here I am just being such a nice friend, stitching you up. Yeah, it is very sticky. Okay. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this perfume though. Mm. Love it. If you plan on getting me a Christmas present, this is what I want. Okay. Let me just clean everything up. Uh, the water base bandage. Gotta throw this away. You look kind of cute like that. <laughs> I was just kidding about being a good friend, like for doing this, because it goes without saying that of course I would do this, you know? Because I know you would do the same thing for me, and also there's no one else I want to hang out with at the party really, except for you, so if you are unwell, then of course I'm going to be there helping you get better. Mm. And this is all trash. Put their little scissors back. I'll put all in the medicine cabinet. I'm taking you to the ER, mister. You got no say in the matter. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen. <laughs> no. We are going to the emergency room. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I do hope you know I'm taking a picture of you before we go to capture this and remember this moment here with you all bandaged up like so. Yeah. You can count on it. I'm gonna give you a kiss to make it better. Is it hurting? Did I do the bandage too tight? <laughs> Did that make it hurt a little less? I honestly, I mean, I really don't know, but I, I feel like you're gonna need a couple stitches. We'll have like a, I don't know, hopefully they have a plastic surgeon on call because we don't want to hurt that beautiful forehead of yours and have you have a nasty scar or anything. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't let anyone stitch up that forehead unless I think, unless I believe that they know what they're doing. I don't know why that sentence was so hard. I really am such a great friend, aren't I? Yeah, I'm like your best friend. I know. Sometimes I feel like I'm basically your girlfriend. I mean, who else would be doing this? I can't think of another name that comes to mind on your friend list. It's just me. <sighs> who knows, maybe one day. I could see us dating, couldn't you? I mean, sometimes I feel like we basically are dating. It's very hard, you can't rip it. You know I always like fidget, like I need to be doing something at all times.
I'm gonna make us friendship rings. Let's see. I'll do it here, like this. Do it on your pointer finger. Oh, it's not really staying. Can I do it to you now? Let me see your finger. I want you to wear this while they're stitching you up. Well, I, I do think they're going to be doing something. Here, I'll give you a thicker, thicker piece like this. Can I see your finger? Let me see. Matching rings. These are hideous. We'll take them off after the hospital. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to head out? Fake boyfriend? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You're not my fake boyfriend. But you just feel like my boyfriend sometimes. Sometimes I even... No, nothing. Okay. I don't know. Would you want me to be your girlfriend? Hmm. I don't know. If you're serious or if that's just the blood loss talking. Why don't we go get you stitched up and we'll see how you're feeling after that. But I will give your forehead one more kiss. Okay, let's get up. Time to go. Come on. I'll help you out. Thank you all for watching. I'd like to take a moment to give a special shout out to my platinum tier patrons Maneo, Kurt, Gentle Cloud, Sebastian.